Hi everyone, welcome back. And I'd like to welcome you officially to my purge video. So hope you guys enjoy and let's just go ahead and get this video started. So in order to bring everything current, back in October, November of 2020, I was celebrating my 10 year anniversary of my original project. That project, I threw a cup a day here on YouTube for an entire year so that I could learn how to throw on the pottery wheel. So I thought in order to stretch myself, I need to give myself a more challenging project. So let's make a lot of cups in a short period of time. Come to confess, I did not publish the final episode at the 365 cups in 30 days. Some of you who don't even know about that project didn't even notice. Some of you who did said, well, where is it? The first original series was a cup a day for a year, which meant I came out to my studio. I threw one cup and trimmed one cup and that's what I would do every single day. And I did it for the entire year in 2011. Uh, this was more a planned out repetitious throwing where I would sit down and try to throw 30 cups at a time, 31, 28, whichever uh, month I had designated to try and keep track of all of these cups. Uh, the beauty is at the beginning I was throwing about five minutes per cup. As I got further along, I got to be throwing maybe about a minute and a half to two minutes, sometimes just a minute per cup. So that, that was a significant growth by just doing repetition. I tried to plan it out well so that I could get done within 30 days. I think what I looked at the most in this 30 day project was the application of the design on the outside of a cup. I really didn't have a whole lot of time left over for handles. I didn't have a whole lot of time left over for fine detailed work on the outside, which I'm a little regretful about. I've learned I don't need to rush through everything from the future. I'm, I'm not going to do this type of project again only because I realized under pressure uh, for making cups, I don't enjoy it as much, but under pressure, I know I can crack it out if I have to. <laughs> I was pretty relaxed when I was doing this last glazing process. I wanna make trees. They're just really hodgepodgey and not my favorite cups. I did like the set of trees that I made on the, on the cups. And I did like the iris flower that I made on a cup. I can 
because I was rushing, a lot of them didn't work out. This was a real significant project for me because I was able to see, I like my underglazes, how I like to use color. I love using the, the line work, the uh, black lines. Um, it just felt like a really satisfying project as far as experimentation. This is my post-COVID art. Well, some of it was pre-COVID. It got me started for the rest. But I used underglaze transfers. I've done some underglaze on here, and it's not totally finished yet. But these wall canvases have been something that have really got me excited lately. My neighbor, bless his heart, made these boxes for me. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six different sizes that I've been using. This was my first project. I'm not 100% happy with it. I do like this. I think this needed some work. I do love this. It was my first time using the poor man's porcelain, I thought. Let's use it on my test box. I learned a lot of things like don't take it out too soon. Put some support under it while it's in the kiln so that it doesn't work. This is what got me jazzed to start these. Because I can do these things anywhere, it's just like grabbing a, a bottle of paint and painting on paper. I have a beautiful collection of designs. This one is really cool. I even have some purchased ones. I have a couple of those. I think they're Ellen transfers. But I haven't actually used them yet. I used them maybe once during the 365 project. Okay, I wanted to share these with you. This is really something I'm excited about. Um, I made 25 different pieces for a local gallery and um, they can only be three inches tall. Yeah, these things are just adorbs. I love making them. I just sat in the living room and just colored them in and yeah, it was so much fun. I want you to see the yellow of my gloves, but that is just fantastic. I love it so much. Holy cow. Gorgeous, gorgeous. As long as I don't miss a spot, this is going to work out great. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay, just a very quick video to show you how those plate stands turned out. I'm using them for tile stands and they work really well. 
just I glazed them with some gloss black and they're ready to rock and roll so let's put the rest of them on there and, sh and see here is a four by four tile and I believe this is an eight by eight tile very sturdy yeah Like, uh, let me just pull a couple things out, hold on. Okay, some of these clays that you see in here are changeover clay from Clay Planet. What that is, is it's cheaper clay. You, you, you can use it for any number of things, but it's a mixture of clays. They don't know what it is, so they say do low fire. I've tested these at Cone 5 already, so I know they're gonna make it. This one right here is one of those changeover clays. I love it. Actually, the best example of the changeover clay is this little, this little piece right here. You see there's white clay in there, or sort of white clay. It's like a brown clay and a red clay. And they all made it to comb five, so I can use it to make cups. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. This is also that changeover clay, and I put, I believe, was this white slip? No, this was white underglaze, and I used some velvet underglazes on here with a clay mix clear. I was just testing new designs. This was not something I expected to beautify. This is something I tried before the pieces that I actually put it on. It turned out cute, I like it. I thought I'd share this really quick. This is what I use, a fine line applicator. I get it through Amazon. I'll put the link below if you're interested. I love these things. I, I can draw, I can write, and it fits my hand perfectly, more like a pen than a squeeze bottle for me. It comes with a fine tip. Which one is this gauge? 20 gauge. And if you don't care about the gauge, gauges, it's the yellow tip. <laughs> I don't know how long that took me to realize, oh, it's yellow because it's this size. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next year. God bless.